legal papers I gave you the other day? Yes, sir, I'll get them right away. No, wait, I want you to stay, Grace. I haven't walked since J.P. Morgan went bust. <laughs> Annie, sit down. I want to adopt you. Adopt me? Yes or no? Well, if I can to my real parents, there's no one in the world that I'd rather be with you, Mr. Warbucks. Drake! Yes, sir. Call Justice Brandeis and ask her to come down and sign those adoption papers. Yes, sir. Grace? Yes, sir. Tell Mrs. Pew that we'll have a house full of guests. We'll need uh, flowers. Flowers. Caviar. Caviar. Champagne. Champagne. High five! <laughs> Annie, this isn't just going to be an adoption. It's going to be a celebration. And you can have anyone you would like to come to it. Who would you like? Uh, Babe Ruth, Johnny Rockefeller, Madame Chiang Kai-shik. She's a lot of fun. Well, I guess I'd like Miss Farrell here, and Mr. Drake, and Cecile, and Annette. I guess I'd like everybody here. Well, I'd like that too, Annie. Drake. Yes, sir? Tell the staff to get spiffed up. They're going to be the guests at Annie's adoption party. Yes, sir. And the kids. No, no, it'll be way past their bedtime. But I'll tell you what. We'll have everyone from the orphanage over for a big Christmas party tomorrow morning. Miss Hannigan, too? Miss Hannigan, too? Why not? Grace? Have Cecile put in. Why, Grace, that's a very pretty dress. Thank you, sir. Have Cecile put Annie in a nice new dress and have Annette do something with her hair. I don't know, gussy her up. Yes, sir. Gussie her up, 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 Annie, Annie, Annie. Everything's humming now. Hum, hum, hum. Done for us. Big promoters got Dempsey and Tommy. We've got Annie turned on the fun for us. Tomorrow 
Sir, there's someone here to see you, Annie. Um, we don't need to interrupt, but... But... Surely, there she is. There's our Annie. Hey, dear, we're your mom and dad. Much, much the name, Ralph Mudge. That there is the wife, Shirley. We never knew it, dear, but you're Annie Mudge. Annie Mudge? Well, sir, we were sick and broke back then. A man gave us a chance to work up on his farm up in Canada. But we couldn't bring along no baby. We loved you, honey, but we had to leave you behind. Mr. Mudge, is it? We've seen a great number of proof. Food. I expect to be wanting proof. Here are our driver's licenses and Annie's birth certificate. Baby girl. Name, Anne Elizabeth Mudge. Born to Ralph and Shirley Mudge. New York, New York, October 28, 1922. That's my birthday. It was in her note, sir. Yes, I know. But, sir, you got to believe us. We got on the Greyhound this morning, and well, the lady at the orphanage said our little baby would be here. Oh, Annie, all these years I've dreamed of holding you in my arms again. Mr. Mudge, on the night that Annie was left at the orphanage... Oh, here's something you might not know about. See, the night that we left her at the orphanage... Oh, well, she's wearing it! The half the silver locket. Here's our half. It fits perfectly. Oh, thank God, Ralph. She's our Annie. She is. She is. She appears to be. Well, if you'll be getting her things, we'll be taking her along. Take her? No. Wait a minute, Mr. Mudge. What about the money? Well, we ain't got much, but we'd be willing to pay Are you telling me that you haven't heard that I've offered a certified check for $50,000 to any people who can prove that they are Annie's parents? No, we haven't heard about no check. Anyways, we don't want no money for Annie. Right, we want no money for Annie. But remember, Cheryl, the little pig farm up in New Jersey? With 50000 we could afford to buy it and bring Annie up right in the country. With fresh air, fresh eggs. Fresh ham. Fresh ham. Certified, huh? All we got to do is make it out to ourselves? Yes, that's correct. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, yes, yeah, so you wouldn't mind if Annie stayed the night till tomorrow morning, Christmas? Then you can come and pick her up and the check too. Oh. Oh. Problem? <laughs> no. Whatever you prefer, sir. Anyways, we should probably get going. Bye, Ed. Until tomorrow morning, honey. Then you will be spending the rest of your life with us. Goodbye, Annie Love. Bye. Oops. Pardon me, Pudding Cup. Merry Christmas. Season greetings, one and all. Well, this is wonderful news. Yes, wonderful news. Annie has found her parents, and they seem to be a very nice couple. Yeah. Wonderful people. You're lucky, Annie. Right, I'm lucky. Just think, a pig farm. <laughs> Mrs. Greer, champagne. We must celebrate. Because it's Christmas Eve and we've just received the most wonderful news in the world. Annie has found her mother and father. I propose a toast to Annie Mudge. To Annie Mudge! <laughs> Annie! Annie! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! You seem to have the same effect on everybody. <laughs> I've lost her. I've lost Annie. That Mr. Mudge, I think I've seen him someplace before. I just can't remember where or when, but I have the strangest feeling he's not who he says he is. Mr. Roosevelt? Franklin. Franklin. Franklin, I need your...
your help. Oliver, whatever I can do for you. Thank <laughs> you.